have two dismounts. Hold, hold. Get that guy up. Oh, shit. This is a fucking dead end. It is 3.52 on a Thursday afternoon. Tomorrow, I will be attending a Milsim West game here in Victorville, California. If you've never been to a Milsim West game, Milsim West is a 40-hour continuous Milsim game, meaning you can be attacked at any point during the day, night, whatever you're doing, you can be attacked. I'm sure if you've been watching the channel for a while, you're very familiar with the format. For this game, I'm going to be using a brand new Umarex Elite Force fully licensed h &K MG4 machine gun as my primary gun. And uh, we're gonna see if the stock gun can hold up to a 40 hour nonstop mill sim. Let's unbox this thing. So there might be some other stuff inside this box. I didn't take a look at the invoice. We've got two guns in here. What is this? HK 416A5 competition series. We'll get into that gun at another time. On the side, we got some literature, velocity, firing modes, the uh, color, and obviously a picture of the gun and the <laughs> massive box magazine. I love that it says massive in bold letters. Inside the box, the gun is completely wrapped in plastic, which is great. The stock is folded over. We've got our box mag right here. Let's take a look at the box mag. Open this up. This is our 4,000 round box magazine. I'm not gonna go too heavily into the details of this gun because I have covered it before. We saw a pre-production model at Copperhead. There haven't been too many changes to the externals. I'm hoping the internals have had an upgrade. If you saw that Copperhead video with the MG4, you know that the tappet plate broke within the first probably hour of the game so i'm hoping that, that doesn't happen at this msw let's take a look at the gun itself here is the mg4 straight out of the box it's got a mock round here that wasn't on the pre-production model love guns that have built-in tripods make it so much easier for presentation what we learned from the pre-production model is that this MG not only has a 4,000 round box magazine, but a 900 round internal hopper. So you can use this machine gun without the box magazine. So if that seems to be too much, you can always take the box mag off and just run the gun as is. If you're going to use the internal hopper, then this needs to go right there. So that way the BBs just don't spill out. That is a very tiny tiny piece that is kind of a worry for me because if you lose this now you have to use the box mag it doesn't seem like there's extra of these hopefully there there are extras available online through umarex elite force that would be very nice because i could totally see either myself or some other unlucky airsoft are losing this piece battery connector is dean's to access the battery compartment you are going to push down on the buttstock and then pull out. You got an assortment of batteries here. Let's uh, try this tight power 11.1 2600 milliamp battery inside this MG4. Sounds okay. Yeah, it just sounds okay. Let's see what this sounds like with a 7.4. Little slower rate of fire. Let's uh, give this more of a test fire with some BBs. We're gonna just use the internal hopper. We're gonna be shooting some Elite Force 0.25 bio BBs. I'm not gonna fill this completely just cause I don't need to shoot 900 BBs right now. All right, the gun is feeding just with the ex with the internal hopper it's nice let's head over to the chrono and see what this chrono is at got our chrono set up got the mg4 filled with elite force 0.25 bbs so we're gonna try to get this to read despite it being on full auto there we go the one shot it registered was at 1.4 joules at 350.3 feet per second which is right at the advertised fps 351 1.4 joules. All 
I will say it is staying at a very consistent 350, 351, which is great. There's a lower shot right there, 335. We've got a lot of consistency with the gun. We're at an average of about 350 feet per second at 1.4 joules. Back from the chrono, and one thing that I wanted to test was the box mag feeding. You can see that there's two connectors here on the box mag, and I'm hoping that these power the box mag, so whatever battery you put inside the gun is gonna power the box mag as well. So with that in mind, you definitely want to have a battery with a lot of milliamps. Titan Power has this 2600 milliamp. They also have a 3000 milliamp. Definitely want to go with a 3000 milliamp if you're going to use this gun. That 3000 milliamps is going to go a long way. Dump some BBs into the box mag. I want to be able to hear this thing feed too. It'd be a bummer if I showed up to the game and my box mag didn't work. Because who knows, maybe I do want to dump 4000 rounds to some people. The feed tray is down. The reservoir door will not open. As long as it's up, it will, so you can feed your BBs in there. I mean, some people are gonna say, okay, that sucks. Some people are gonna say, oh, it adds to the realism. Got the word up right here, so that way you know which way to put this feed tube in. Let's shoot this into a safe direction and maybe we're gonna hear the box mag activate. Have we been feeding? Oh yeah, 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 there we go. Okay, so now we're feeding from the box mag. Not sure if you can see that on camera, but I can I can see the BBs right here going going from the back box magazine into the internal hopper. So the box mag is working. Great. Normally I would make an attempt to adjust the hop up right now. I really wanna do that before the game tomorrow. We will have a lot of time beforehand. Instead, I'm gonna go ahead and get all the attachments on here that I want, take that ugly orange tip off, add some optics, add a flashlight, and get this game ready. Attachments on my MG4 are a Spitfire Tracer muzzle flash unit, a 2100 lumen Olight Warrior X flashlight with pressure switch, Run Cam Scope Cam 2, and an AGM Adder Thermal Scope. I'll be going over each attachment's importance throughout the video. Powering the gun and the box magazine will be a 7.4, 2600 milliamp Titan Power Lithium Ion Battery. For this game, I'll be leading a 9-man NATO Fast Attack Squad. I'll be pulling double duty as the squad leader and driver of our transport truck. Our squad is broken into two fire teams, Alpha and Bravo. Each fire team has a designated fire team leader. Okay. Our first mission is to establish the NATO PB or patrol base. While the rest of the NATO company ruck marches to the designated PB site, our squad will race ahead in the vehicle carrying Alpha Team and all our rucks. Alpha Team will be dropped off at Building 35 Bravo. Alpha will then hold security while the vehicle returns to the staging area to pick up Bravo Team, ammo supplies, and medic water. Once the entire squad is reunited at Building 35 Bravo, we will hold the southernmost defensive line until the rest of the NATO company can establish the PB. Rollin' Oscar Mike! Squad mic check, squad mic check. Yeah, Lima Charlie. Hey, this is a practice evade. This is a practice evade. Evading, evading, evading. Copy all, we're good back here. Roger that. Oh, sh forgot my gun. Did he really? No. No. Just kidding. Oh, oh, sh oh, 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 oh. What are you doing? Oh man, this does that. Oh my god, he just ended ND'd ND in the vehicle. Oh. Jesus. Possible contact left, I heard some shots unknown. Yeah. We just had an ND in the vehicle. Jesus Christ, guys, there's a gun on safety. Player straight ahead. But who? Okay, so we had one. Huh? Four players, five players crossing the road straight ahead. We got foot mobiles ahead of us, unsure who it is. I think this is Russ for. Roger, 
This is a rust fort. This is a rust fort. Don't fire. Don't fire. Probably don't fire. The they they don't know it's us. Don't fire. Don't fire. Confirm rust fort. Confirm rust fort. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Don't fire. Don't fire. I'm going to flip a branch. We're going to unload. During the return trip back to the staging area, the vehicle took fire from the rust war unit we slipped past. To avoid driving back into a possible ambush, myself and Bravo team plan to use an alternate route to get back to building 35. Don't do the medic water. <laughs> Don't do the medic water or the BBs. Rucks and uh, rucks and water only. Here is where we are. Yeah. They are they're here. Okay. Like I'm going to get the MG4 ready. Okay. You two get in the cab, close the bed what up. Do you want to do with this? Just leave it here. Leave it here for now. Be ready to fucking shoot cuz it's going to be nothing but bad guys. Am I allowed to use tracers or no tracers? Oh, dude, use whatever the f*** you want. Roger. Yeah, just leave that for now. Don't shoot my mirror out. <laughs> Bravo is Oscar Mike. Yep, Bravo. that guy up! RJ, tell tell Alpha contact, contact. There's all their rocks. Infantry, straight straight ahead, white light. Those guys up, Nick. Oh shit! This is a fucking dead end. Oh my fucking god! We took a wrong mother fucking turn. Hang Whoa. on! <laughs> Let them know we are no, we are north of their paws. North, north of, of your paws. North of your paws. Dude, we just drove into the mother <laughs> Russian <laughs> CP. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, we know where it's at now. Yeah. The entire squad, along with the rest of the NATO company, are now rallied up. Along with the enemies to our south, there is now a Rust 4 platoon occupying a building to our west. Now is the time for the thermal optic and 2100 lumen flashlight to go to work. The enemy unit to our south all have NVGs. To negate their advantage, I use my 2100 lumens to project a wall of light. Like I'm gonna white light these two and they're gonna like disappear. Bloop! <laughs> you see him? Okay, this guy's peeking. He's peeking in a white light and he's gonna disappear. White light. Night vision works by amplifying ambient light. Shining that power of a flashlight at a person with NVGs would make them feel like they were looking into the sun. After some time, this unit decided it didn't want any more of my light wall and returned to base. The AGM Adder Thermal Optic is the most unfair advantage you can have when it comes to airsofting. I have my AGM Thermal set to red hot. The body heat from players will show red in my scope, revealing their position even through the slightest of angles. M4s, it's M4s. You look like M4s. No, 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 it's very funny, it's very funny. Tango down! Tango down! If you're in front of me, don't stand up. Yeah. Hit. Everybody. Alright, I see two guys. On the floor. Tango down. Nice. Saturday morning, our squad is tasked with a resupply mission. The MSR leading to the NATO PB is guarded by a Dishka machine gun. From a drop-off point, Alpha and Bravo will maneuver toward the gun emplacement and prevent it from being manned. Once the machine gun is neutralized, the supply truck, driven by me, will drive past toward the NATO PB. Alpha is set. Go ahead and take it across the street, man. Roger, moving. Wait five seconds, then move.
pull security. It, Sorry, dude. I think you guys accidentally shot me. Did I hit you in the face? No, you're totally fine. Sorry. Bravo, be advised, we are set one enemy KIA. Uh, do you consent yeah, to a search? Hey, we got BBs. Copy. Can I have a Jolly Rancher? Yeah, go for it. Sweet, thank grab you. A couple. Grab a couple. Oh, you're good, you're grab good. one for all you guys. I'll grab one. I got a ton. I'll grab one. Alright, hey, thank you, man. Yeah, good, good air support. <laughs> Oh my god, really? Oop, okay. Hey Alpha, you're gonna hold until I have eyes on the lodgy coming down the street and then we're gonna open up. You're gonna see me crest the hill in about five seconds. All right, Alpha, engage, engage, engage. Lip fire, lip fire. What's up, big boy? Where you want me to drop this off at? That is all BBs too. Okay, cool. Later in the afternoon, our squad sets up an ambush area along a heavily trafficked road. Since we may be doing a lot of shooting, I'm going to use the MG4's massive box magazine. The one downside to this strategy is that it's difficult to distinguish who is dead and who is not. As I said earlier, at Milson West Games, you can be shot at any given moment, no matter what you are doing. If you are dead or not in play for whatever reason, it's your responsibility to announce this in some way. These guys dead? It's me, are you guys dead? All right, sorry. I have no, we have no way of telling. Go, 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 go. Alpha, get up here. Alpha, get up here. Get Nick. There's guys to our uh, west. Yeah. Hey, sorry about that, you two. I can't tell if you're dead or not. There's two guys walking down the street right now, but they're. Are you gonna shoot them? Yeah. Ready? It's a machine gun, of course, full auto. See, that's how you walk around. That's um, Bravo. Go ahead. Hey, are all these Russians up in the north? They probably are not. Uh, you're clear to engage. The north? Alright, they're on the northwest side. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, we blew that one. Good call out though, Nick. Yeah, good call, good call. We got a squad of enemies to our north. Uh, belay that to our west, direct west. Right here, right here. Okay, okay, okay. 
Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ready? Because everybody is walking. Sorry, gents, you're just in the wrong place at the wrong time. While it does feel bad to shoot players who aren't in play, the dead man walk is a ploy that is commonly used. MG4 is still going hard. Equipment breaking is an unfortunate factor of long milsim games. During a night patrol, Mac took a small fall and broke his gun. More importantly though, he was not injured. The barber dude snapped in. I don't know. The gun took the brute of my injuries. I'm not injured. Well, that's good. There were Russians everywhere. Turn after all the night action is completed, it's time for bed. My sleep arrangement consists of two sleep pads for maximum comfort and minimal conduction, a cold weather sleeping bag which I stuff with a wooby, or military poncho liner for extra insulation. I pack all my extra clothing in two gallon Ziploc bags inside my ruck which I then use as a pillow. Morning time at Milsom West is spent hanging out with friends and getting gear ready for the day. Sunday is the final battle between the Rus4 and NATO companies. Our squad's plan is to insert ourselves into enemy lines, then move parallel to them, wiping out as many enemies as possible. Hey, there's people moving in the street. Yep. Full platoon, full company front. That's bad guys, right down the street. We have enemy vehicle down the street. Whoa, 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 whoa. Technical down on the right. Contact, 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 contact rear. Contact, 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 contact. Hey, Do not no, dismount. No. Contact, contact. Hey, yo, yo! Jet, we have two dismounts. Hold, hold, hold. Jet, we have two dismounts. Jet, we have two dismounts. Hold, hold, hold. Why did you guys get out? Stay on. Stay on. We're good, we're good, we're good. The war starts here, fail to the right. Jump, 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 jump. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Everybody move south, move south. Changing. Hey, I need you to go through this. Yeah. RJ, go with Nick. Do you consent to a search? Uh, sure. You don't have any BBs on you, water bottles, anything? I do not. Maps? Uh, Jet, you wanna take a photo of this or are you good? No, we don't need that anymore. Is that Nick in, com in contact? Nick, you up? That person's dead, right? Yeah, there's two down. Hey, one to the left. I haven't pinned. Hey, Jake. He ran. He ran. He squirted. He squirted to the right, Nick. Down the stairs. He went down the stairs. Go, 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 go. One squirter, east side, first floor. Nick, get over here and help uh, RJ. Got one down the middle of the street. One down the middle of the street. Bobby. Ah. 
Is this guy dead next to you? Okay. Okay. Up. Oh, I'm sorry, what is this? No, he's what saying take it to him. Fuck you, no! <laughs> Bail left, bail left, bail left. Bail left in the case of the Bail left in the case of the Russian. Bail up, keep that left side. Wasted. We got three plus tangos carport. One on the bottom floor. Staircase, staircase. Yeah. <laughs> Closing thoughts on the Elite Force Umarex MG4. Overall, I was happy the gun survived the game. The folding stock made the MG4 compact enough for me to stow it in the vehicle right next to me. It also came in handy Friday night for firing out of the truck. The ability to switch between the 900 BB hopper and 4000 BB box magazine is very nice. The placement of the box magazine does make it awkward to hold and fire. So being able to use the gun without the box mag makes shooting a lot more comfortable. The one downside to the MG4 is the low BB velocity. If I had been engaged in longer ranged firefights, I would have been at a disadvantage. This could be remedied though by upgrading the spring or switching the gun to an HPA engine. As for the cost, you are paying for slight innovation in the form of the 900 BB hopper, the H&K licensing, and a very nicely built body. Whether it's worth purchasing is going to be up to you and your bank account. I was very pleased with the gun's stock performance out of the box. I will most likely have it upgraded though so I can get more utility out of it at longer distance. That's going to wrap up this video, and as always, this is Jet Desert Fox, and I'll see you on the field.